Hi, my name is Stephanie Dombowski, and today I'm making a video on bamboo fiber because I noticed there aren't a lot of bamboo fiber actual videos out there on the YouTube. So basically, I have some 100% bamboo right here. Uh, most of the time, you get it in a mixture, either it's going to be 50% merino and a certain amount of bamboo or silk. There's a lot of ways that you can blend it with a lot of different fibers. It's very versatile. It's a veggie fiber. It's extremely eco-friendly. Um, bamboo rejuvenates, grows about 98 inches a day with optimum conditions. That's like the most it's ever been recorded, but they go really fast. So it's a really great fiber. Um, and for people that are kind of sensitive to the wool or anything that's protein from animals uh, and they have to wear veggie or just you know plant fibers, bamboo is really great. It's really good at keeping down moisture. Uh, it's and it has antimicrobial properties, which is also nice. Um, though the one thing is is that bamboo doesn't hold its structure very well. Uh, um, and it also is very slippery. So when you spin, try and keep a decent firm hand on it, but you don't want to clamp down on it so much that you can't spin it. Um, and make sure you're, that your reel is set on high ratio so that you have a lot of twists going into your fiber so that it stays together. Um, sorry, I keep on saying um. So basically, what I have is from uh FiberLady.com. She has some really nice bamboo rovings that have decent length staple. They're not really short uh, fiber staple or anything, which can be a little difficult if you're not used to spinning cotton or you don't like spinning cotton. Don't choose a fiber that's really short. Find a staple that's a decent amount over an inch long or so to help you get your bearings on bamboo because it is, once again, I'd like to iterate, reiterate that it's very slippery. Um, this colorway that I have, it's Victorian rose. It's got uh, pinks and light golds and stuff like that. So if you like that color, go onto her website. She's got great stuff. I really recommend her bamboo fiber. So what I like to do, I'm gonna remove this camera so that you can see this better. Uh, so let me, there is my wheel. That's a Sonata from Koromsky. They're really good wheels. I really highly recommend these ones as well. So I don't really like to draft my fiber because it can get very slippery and slip away. But I do like to separate it into smaller amounts because it likes to separate a lot while you're spinning it. So let me just get this ready. Hopefully you can see the string right here. Uh, I've already spun some on here. So we're gonna connect it, and I'm really finicky about my connections. And you have to have a nice strong bond with bamboo or else it just slips apart. So I like putting some twist in, and then I get my wheel ready, and I'm gonna start spinning. Um, so I have it on my highest ratio, and I'm doing pretty much a worsted draw. I'm doing a short forward draft with my finger to try and keep it nice and uniform and even. And then I like having all of my actual fiber facing the same way. So it's nice and compact and well, well twisted. So hopefully you can see this process. Just a nice short draft forward. And take your time. You don't want to add too much twist that it starts twisting up on itself and making it difficult. As you can see, I'm keeping my hands pretty far apart because this is a nice long staple of bamboo fiber. And I'm just continually feeding it. And you can go as fast or as slow as you want. I'm trying to go a little slow so that you can see my motions and how I'm spinning it. And basically make sure that you have a lot of twist in there so that it stays together because sometimes when you're actually applying it and you have the it on the bobbin and you're pulling it from the lazy kate sometimes they get loose and they tend to slip apart because they're slippery so make sure you have a lot of twist in here so that you don't 
have to try and tie a bamboo together or try to make it stay together while you're applying it because that's really annoying when your string breaks in general when you're applying. So hopefully you can get this motion just forward drafting slowly but surely trying to keep it nice and even and smooth and compact while I'm spinning. Also, if you're going to be using this uh, to crochet or knit, try and use it for patterns that don't really need a lot of structure. Because, once, as I said earlier, bamboo doesn't really like to hold its shape. The reason why it's blended with wools is so that that wool can help it hold its shape. So don't try to really use it for anything that needs detailed cables or any detailed stitch work that you want to show off. Um, but this is great for loose garments, uh, for scars or anything that you want loose. Uh, pretty much when I'm done plying, ply as you would. And then from what I've heard, what I do is you can just, to set the twist, I do a little bit of hot water, but most of the time I'll do it in cold because you don't want the actual, this fiber usually is a little more kind of runny with its colors when you have dyed fiber. So your bath water is probably going to be a, a color that whatever it's dyed, if it's dyed. So usually cold water will set the twist and vice versa, but I think there's more information on setting the twist of bamboo on, um, what is it? I forgot the name of it. Uh, it's not Ply Magazine. It's Spinoff. Uh, on Spinoff, they have some information on bamboo and also on the internet. There's a couple of good websites that can tell you about spinning bamboo. And also ask around spinning forums on uh Ravelry or just look it up see how do I set the twist on bamboo if you have any more questions and sometimes you'll get some information on there So I think that's about it still nice and strong um, Just make sure you have good tension that it gets on your wheel uh, But you don't want the tension so strong the take up so strong that it pulls the fiber out of your hands because then it get, You lose twist and it falls apart so Hopefully this video was helpful and that my stuttering wasn't too bad and long pauses of thought. Uh, hopefully you got more information out of this than questions and stuff. So uh, if you have any questions, please send me an email or leave a message on the video so I can look at it. And hopefully you'll have fun spinning bamboo. Thanks for watching the video.